Hi there and welcome to the class. Um, I know we're going to be dealing with some pretty heavy issues around race and ethnicity and so I just wanted to give you a little um, mini lecture in terms of just beginning to talk about some of these issues and concepts that we're going to address in the class and some of the assumptions. Um, so first when we talk about race um, we're going to really challenge this notion of this sort of bipolar hierarchical racial construction, right? So a lot of arguments around race or discussions about race are really focused on, for example, you know, black and white or this hierarchies of repression and those kinds of things. And we're going to really talk about race from a much more complex and nuanced way. Um, so we are going to talk about issues of immigration, of intermarriage, of globalization, economics, class. So basically how issues of race intersect with other, um, other forms of oppression, such as so socioeconomic um, position and understanding how different groups are racialized uh, within the U.S., Um, so we, are, of course, are going to be discussing issues of race, but also class, gender, uh, within the U.S. context. We're going to really think about and analyze what this means for public policy and social work and service delivery. Um, we emphasize critical inquiry, so really thinking critically about what we read and about what we see in the media, etc., um, and from a social justice perspective. Um, so we're going to think about how constructions of race and ethnicity play a role in how social problems are conceptualized. So how, so when we look at issues, social issues, we're going to look at them through this particular lens of thinking about race, ethnicity, and how that plays a role in, in how we think about these various social issues. Um, so again, our conceptual analysis is going to go beyond race, so we're going to think about it as it intersects with other forms of social diversity, how this impacts in identity on a group level, and then thinking about this interaction within institutions such as the prison system, healthcare, education, social welfare, etc. Um, we're beginning from an assumption that the U.S. is historically a multi-ethnic, multi-racial country, right? So we haven't becoming been becoming more diverse because we start with this assumption that already, for example, uh, we had Native Americans, you know, at the time that you had contact um, between Europeans and um, and the indigenous populations, right? So it's so we we've always had a multi-ethnic, multi-racial um, country and history. Um, and today, of course, we're dealing with increasing diversity due to globalization, intermarriage, adoptions, interracial marriages, etc. So uh, many forms of diversity as well. And then this assumption that race is a social construction. So we are understanding race not, not as some sort of um, biological marker, but this idea that, that race is something that is socially constructed. We've socially constructed, we've created race. However, even though it's a social construction, it has very real consequences. Um, so, so I'm just asking you to think about sort of race and what that means and what are the various conceptions in the country historically around issues of race, right? So we've had multiple definitions of race. So for example, the census has shifted in terms of how people of different racial groups are categorized or who is even considered of a different race, right? And which reflects the fact that it's a concept that, that does, that is sort of socially constructed and evolves. We also have some very concerning sort of responses to this uh, diversity within our society, right? So we have increasing institutional and individual violence, uh, a lot of anti-immigrant uh, sentiment, which you see clearly in the media in the current kind of election cycle, growing numbers of hate crimes, uh, particularly towards Latinos, for example. Um, increase of white hate groups on camp college campuses or other um, other locations. So there's actually been an increase in these in these groups. There's um, an organization that tracks um, white um, hate groups, and and they've been noticing sort of an increase in in these groups and their presence. Um, 
also this idea that multiculturalism or multicultural education somehow divides America, right? Not seeing it as a strength. Um, so there's been this very negative response to this increasing um, diversity rather than really thinking about the richness or embracing what this increasing diversity um, provides for our country. Then, of course, thinking about the political influence on these racial classifications. So what does it mean to have different folks um, who have access to citizenship and power and are defined as white or not white? Um, also, this need to undermine solidarity within and between groups, right? So always this idea of you know, thinking about who's included, who's excluded, and how can we sort of create these, these divisions um, between groups. Then critical race theory. Um, this is a particular perspective that basically just says, look, we're going to take a look at issues of race and this assumption, so this idea that somehow racism is normal and pervasive in American society, right? So that it's so pervasive that we don't even see it or notice it. And critical race theory basically says we're going to really kind of challenge that and really look at these different issues from this racial lens so that we understand how racism may be playing a role in these various issues, right? And really analyzing and challenging a lot of the myths, such as this idea of meritocracy. Um, and also this, I'm um, challenging this idea that somehow you don't need, um, that, that if you don't have individual racism, so that's, um, then you don't have racism, right? That it's not necessary to have individual races to have racism, right? So we're talking about this institutional, larger contextual level. Then finally, I just want to leave you with this discussion of social identity theory, right? So when we talk about identity within this course, we're going to talk about social identity. And that means that we're talking about larger group identity, right? And, and typically um, groups that are stigmatized in society. And then, and then looking at the, an individual's um, view or membership of being belonging in that group and the value and the emotional significance attached to that membership, right? So the interaction between the social context that shapes that social identity and then how individuals sort of respond to that and deal with that. Um, so we're looking at sort of the agency and the meaning making depending on how different people are positioned in the social world, right? So if someone is Latina and female or Latino and male and from a working class background, what does that mean for how they see themselves, how society sees them, and then how they respond to that? Um, okay, and um, so that, I'll leave you with that, those thoughts, just kind of a short lecture to begin to introduce some of the ideas and concepts that we're going to be dealing with in this course. And again, um, welcome to the class.